Hello guys, welcome back. With today's video I want to start a little series where I'm taking you with me through my cosmetic treatments. So I've decided already some time ago that I want to do some Botox and filler or Botox or filler, um, especially filler for my lips and uh, Botox for these lines that I have here. I'm in my 30th and I think and I've been confirmed by a doctor that this is also genetic so I believe there is not an age or like a right age where you should or you could start cosme cosmetic treatments. It's about you, you don't have to do it uh, I don't think there is like a specific age because everyone's skin is different, everyone's background is different. But it can be like genetic, for example my grandmother, my auntie, my mom, they all are have like a, quite a wrinkly skin. So I believe and the doctor confirmed me that it can be a genetic reason as well. When you want to do something like this, the first thing is to get information, so I do have friends that do this kind of treatment, so I've asked all of them questions. You know, I think the general question, does it hurt, the price? For the way I am, like, if I want to do something like this, I need to have as many information as possible, and they had to come from an expert, like, from a doctor. So basically what I did, I went to four different clinics and meetings in Amsterdam and until I found the right place for me. So I think the first thing that I can advise is like do, the, do your research, meet up with doctors. Um, these first meetings are free so it's just good that you get as many information as possible. You find a place where you feel you can trust them, it's clean, like all these little details that I think is very important. And then you find what is right for you. The clinic in Amsterdam where I'm gonna do it and it was, it was a kind of a click. I felt I really liked the clinic, everyone was very helpful, the doctor was, is a real doctor, is a dermatologist. I bombarded him with questions and uh, I just felt really, it was very confident, I felt like I can trust him, so I was like, okay, this is the right place. And it's the Falk Clinic in Amsterdam. Initially, I was not planning on filming uh, these videos, but then along the way, when I was doing all these appointments, I found out that I had so many questions and different people or different doctors were giving me different answers for the same question. So I was like, hang on a second, this is really interesting, so I should film this and I've asked the doctor to do a little interview question and answer um, with the, all the questions that you asked me on Instagram and that I had myself as well because I thought if this was so helpful for me, it can be helpful from other girls as well. I obviously also did a lot of internet research, I watched a lot of YouTube videos um, about what is best, Botox or filler, and what I found is that um, a lot of videos, they were really well explained, but it was coming from the girl that was filming it, or the blogger or whatever, and then I felt like if it's coming from the doctor, I feel I would trust much more because he's an expert. Uh, that's why I decided to set up this interview tomorrow before we do my first treatment. Hi guys, so today is the day I'm doing my first treatment and we're gonna go through all your questions that you asked me yesterday on my Instagram stories. So I'm here at the Falk Clinic in Amsterdam with Dr. Robert. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm uh, Robert van der Lees. I'm a dermatologist. I work for one to two days uh, in the Thal Clinic in Amsterdam and uh, three days in a week in the Spine Gasthuis Hospital in Haarlem. Nice. Uh, I really like the fact that Robert was an actual doctor and he gave me a really good feeling of trust <coughs> in doing all my treatments and that was one of the main reasons why I chose this clinic. In terms of treatments, what I was looking for, it was something to correct the lines um, around my eyes uh, which I believe it can be also genetic sometimes, no? 
Because yesterday people asked me on some girls asked me like when is the best uh, time to start treatments and I don't think there's a time in your life, you know, it depends, it's very personal. Uh, so this is what I was looking for, like Rama eyes and then I also want to do some lip filler and just because I like it. <laughs> but my main question in the beginning it was what is best is best filler for my eyes or Botox and so that was where my, where my research started from. And this was also like one of the main questions that you guys asked me yesterday on my Instagram stories. Um, so I put all the questions together because they were a lot, so I condensed them in like the most popular ones. And the first one was, what's the main difference between Botox and filler and what's the best for which area? Um, okay, yeah, uh, Botox uh, treatments are uh, treatments for uh, crow feet, for the frown uh, wrinkling, uh, the ri uh, wrinkles on the forehead. So uh, Botox treats the muscles of the face, uh, mm -hmm. it uh, stops uh, the movement of the muscles. And uh, filler treatments are just uh, um, uh, filling up volume loss. So you can uh, do a lot with uh, filler treatments. You can uh, fill uh, fine lines, but you can also um, uh, fill the cheeks, mm -hmm. uh, the jawline, but also the lips. So it's just a treatment for the volume loss. So okay. when your face gets older, um, your uh, bone gets smaller, the muscle gets smaller, the fat pads in the face get smaller, and uh, that's why uh, the face gets, gets a little bit uh, yeah. uh, of sagging of the face. And um, when you're younger, you have the V shape of the face, and that's what you want to do with the filler and the Botox treatments that you lift the face. Okay. Yeah. And uh, why did you think in my case Botox was better than filler around my eyes? Well, around the eyes, you can also have volume loss. Uh, so some people have some uh, tear drops, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I think uh, the wrinkles around your eyes are just some fine wrinkles. And uh, when you smile, can you smile a bit? Yeah, then you see a little bit of uh, wrinkling over here. So with the Botox treatment, you can just soften it. I think it's the nicest way to, to not um, completely uh, treat, uh, treat it with Botox, but just soften it. So, so a bit lighter. A lighter, yeah. Okay. The second most asked question, it was, which one between the two treatments lasts longer and looks more natural? Um, yeah, in my opinion, Botox and filler tre treatments can uh, look natural. Uh, but That's you, nice. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's important to uh, use the right amounts. So when you okay. use, a, use a lot of Botox in your face, then you can get a frozen look. Yeah. And when you want a natural, fresh look, you have to uh, use Botox in lower doses. Okay. And, so it's um, all about the quantity of quantity, the bottles yeah. that you use. Okay. Yeah. So uh, a couple of years ago, then you saw many uh, um, actors with frozen faces, <laughs> but uh, I think it's um, much more nicer to use very low doses. Yeah. Then ne uh, no one sees that you have a, had a bonus yeah. treatment, but you look much more yeah. fresh and younger. I yeah. think it's very nice and yeah. that what I was looking for as well, that for your final result, you want that Maybe people think you look very fresh yeah. and you look good and maybe they can guess that like, did she do something? But yeah. not that it's so obvious that yeah. can be the treatment. I think that yeah. is the best result that you can have in my opinion. Yeah, and also with the filler treatments, uh, uh, when you use a lot of fillers on the cheeks and the lips, it, it looks very unnatural. But mm -hmm. uh, you can also uh, use smaller amounts and then it looks natural and you look Good. Better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three. I think it came from people that heard stories or read it online and uh, this was the question. Can people suffer from Botox since it stays in your system or is it just a myth? It's like, it's dangerous or not? Yeah. Well, uh, Botox treatments uh, are used for a long uh, period and also before we use it in the cosmetics it was also used in uh, for uh, muscle spasms uh, uh, used by neurologists and uh, they use high amounts of Botox and uh, they also didn't find some problems okay. uh, and uh, there are so many Botox procedures and uh, yeah I think Botox is a safe treatment so we are safe yeah the only thing is this yeah, you can have some um, asymmetry uh, after the uh, treatment or, or when it's injected at the wrong side yeah, okay. then you can have some 
problems. So it really yeah. depends on the um, you guys do good research, choose the right doctors, right doctors. and yeah. maybe you ask for some previous jobs to see how yeah. you like it maybe. Yeah. And but I think the only so what can go bad is that you don't like the final result. Mm -hmm. But not yeah. that is dangerous for your health. No, for your health no. And it's yeah, completely gone mm -hmm. after three to four months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's and nice. When you, when you use it for uh, hyperhidrosis, uh, for um, uh, transpiration problems, then it it works for six months. Okay. For six months. Yeah. Okay, so it's safe? Yeah, it's safe. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Question number four. Um, how long do this treatment last? And how often do you need a retouch for both Botox and filler? Yeah. Uh, Botox treatments uh, will, uh, in the face, will last about three to four months. Um, and when you use it for the, uh, the hyperhidrosis, it will last about six months. Um, filler treatments, it depends on the type of uh, filler. You have soft fillers and you have okay. uh, more strong uh, fillers uh, from the bone. So does it depend only also on the brand? Yeah, it depends fillers? also on the brand. Okay. And uh, you also have uh, your own hyaluronic acid fillers. You have uh, Adiesa. Okay. Uh, so the hyaluronic acid fillers will last uh, about 6 to 12 months. Okay. The softer fillers will last a little bit uh, shorter. And um, the radiation will last for about um, 18 months. Oh, okay. One and a half year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. So it's all treatments that you need to retouch. Yes. Uh, yeah. Time. yeah. In the past, we also, uh, we, I never uh, <laughs> use it, but uh, there were permanent fillers, but okay. uh, in the Netherlands, uh, we uh, cannot use the permanent okay. fillers. Yeah. So we are forbidden. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Last question for today, and then eventually, if you have more, we can cover it in the next appointment. But it was about the price. So, how much are these treatments? Yeah, um, yeah it, it depends uh, what you want. Uh, in this clinic, the cosmetic consultations are free. Uh, so, we uh, do first a full face analysis, and then we make a treatment plan uh, with. Um, I think the prices of both treatments start about 100 to 200 euros. Uh, when you need a lot of bonus, then it's more 3 to 400 uh, euros. So it depends euros. on yeah. how many areas. Yeah. So, for example, the areas. eye is one area, the forehead is yeah. another area. So, like, it depends how many areas you need. Yeah. But sometimes in, in uh, women, uh, I can treat with one region, yeah. uh, the crown feet and forehead. Okay. Or, so you can combine uh, different regions okay, with one region. So, yeah. um, so it's really personal. It depends really what personal. you need. And uh, male uh, clients need more Botox than female uh, clients. Okay. So there's also a difference. And um, the filler treatments are um, uh, about yeah, a couple of hundred euros per syringe. So that's okay. one ml of uh, fillers. Yeah. And um, in this clinic, when you uh, combine some treatments, you get a you get discount. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's it with the question. And now we start with the today with the first treatment. We're gonna do my first bottles. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous now. <laughs> Uh, first, I will clean your uh, face, yeah. and um, yeah, we discussed already. We will uh, perform today a low dose Botox treatment, and um, the low dose Botox treatment is just for the fresh, natural look, and you don't. Uh, That's get, what we want. Yeah, you don't get a frozen uh, face. You will keep your expression uh, of your face, nice. but it's uh, just uh, yeah, it gives a fresh uh, look. Yeah. Maybe it's good to show uh, when you frown, uh, the movement of your uh, frown. Can you watch angry? Yeah, okay. So here see some movement of the muscles. You don't have frown wrinkles, but for the natural look, I will also put a little amount of Botox in the uh, frown uh, muscles. Mm -hmm. And then I also, um, can you smile for the, yes. Here she, you see also some fine wrinkling, so I will also put some low amounts of bonus in these muscles around the eyes. And um, for women it's always uh, very nice to do a little bit of brow, eyebrow lifting, so uh, you will get a little bit of lift of the eyebrows. So mm -hmm. You will get a little bit of bonus in these parts. Okay. So that's it.
And it's supposed to be very fast, no? Yeah, yeah, it's a quick treatment. Uh, in both treatments, it's a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. They call it the lunch break treatment, yeah, no? Yeah. <laughs> First suggestion, can you watch angry? Yeah, okay, just relax. Okay. First injection, there it comes. Okay. There's nothing. Nothing? <laughs> okay. Um, can you watch angry? Yeah. Here we go. Relax, yeah. Angry, yeah, just relax, yeah. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, watch angry, yeah, relax. Watch angry, yeah, relax. You feel the needle a little bit, but yeah. it's not painful. I think it's like less than a blood test mm -hmm. uh, pain. Uh, can you lift your eyebrows? Yeah. Okay, just relax. Yeah. Lift the eyebrows. Can you lift the eyebrows? Yeah. Just relax. You don't see the immediate result with Boko. No, no, no. Uh, smile at least. Yeah, okay, just relax. Smile please. Yeah, just relax. But not okay. Just yeah. a bit okay. weird. Yeah. Uh, smile, please. Smile. Can you smile a little more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Relax. Is there any side effects? Like, I don't know, if I sh headache or... Yeah, it can give some uh, headache. Okay, and can I take... Most people have no side effects. Okay, and if I have a headache in the afternoon, can I take a painkiller? Or... Yeah, but most, yeah, it's, it's possible, but... Now just thinking what I should expect. Mm -hmm. And sh should I expect some bruising or... Uh... I don't um, know. At this moment, you don't have uh, bruising, so. Ah, um, uh, so if yeah. it, it comes immediately or yeah. nothing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you smile again? Yeah. Relax. Smile again. Yeah, relax. Yeah. This with your nose? Uh, <laughs> yeah, can you? No, it's not really. Uh, smile again. Yeah. Smile again. 
Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. After the treatment, it's important that you. Uh, is it done? Is it? It's done. Oh my God! It's so quick. It's like five minutes. Yeah. So um, it's important that you. Next hours you don't use uh, makeup uh, okay. on the injection points and uh, don't use creams and tomorrow you can use everything okay. and uh, no can alcohol. I remove Can I remove my makeup when I go home? Or? Yeah, it's possible Tonight? but I will, I will also clean it at this moment. Okay. And uh, no so sauna, no, no exce uh, excessive uh, sports or gym, okay. so uh, tomorrow, you, tomorrow you can do everything okay. because the Botox has, has to settle in uh, okay. a bit. Yeah. And I've read somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, it's like doc, Dr. Google, when I go to something, it says that, um, it was saying that you shouldn't for a few hours go to sleep because the bottles can move around yeah. your face, is so that correct? Right? For the next three hours, uh, it's important that you stay up. Up, standing. The next three okay. hours, yeah. I mean, I'm not planning on going to sleep, but just, yeah. it's nice to know. Yeah, it, it can move a little bit, yeah. uh, Borg, so... Uh, that's, that's it. We're okay. done? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys! So, today is exactly two weeks post Botox and I want to show you the result. I try to go as close as possible. You know, I... and this is perfect. I can't, can't really move that anymore, but I, can, I still have a very good movement here. But when, now I was to show you, but when my face is relaxed, it's perfect. How was the process? I had completely no bruising, no particularly like swollen, and also you can see here because um, I have a little lift on my brows. So this is the final result after two weeks. And Robert, my doctor said, to exact, like to kick in properly, it takes one to two weeks. And I agree because the first, uh, after like a couple of days, I felt like you can really see nothing. And I was like, why did I do it? Like, I see no difference. <laughs> but when I was in London, like, I actually had a lot of compliments that I looked so fresh and I looked really good. The day that I really saw the difference, it was around day five that I woke up in the morning. I went to wash my face, like, first thing, and I looked at, around my eyes and it's like, okay, now I can see it. Now it looks good. So I'm really happy because I feel that Robert, the doctor, um, really understood what I wanted, that I wanted a really natural uh, look, that I still want to have movement in my face, I don't want the Botox face. This is exactly the result that I wanted. So... So this is it really. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I actually enjoyed making it. So my filler appointment is on the 7th of March. So there's gonna be another video with the filler as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope it was helpful. And I'll see you next Tuesday with the next fashion video. And in March with the filler video. Um, leave me any qu uh, question in the comment box below. Um, if it's something I can reply, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll kindly ask Robert if it's more of a technical question, I kindly ask Robert to um, give me the answer and I'll put it down for you. Um, I wish you a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye!